Hi, in this video we'll be looking at the basics of creating charts in the web channel. Some of the topics we'll be touching on are mixing chart types, drill downs, chart styling and options, and how to prepare a data set for a chart. Before we continue to creating charts, let's have a look at some of the options that are available once a chart is created. The legend on the side allows us to remove and add series from the chart by clicking on them. You can see I've just removed the accumulated total and by clicking on them I place them back. By clicking on the numbers in the scale I can zoom in on the chart. These bars along the bottom are quite hard to see so I can click on the series and start zooming in on the data. I want to zoom back out. I can press on zero or click on the chart and click refresh. It's also possible to zoom in on a range of category values. If I click on the chart and click on zoom in, I can then select the region in which I wish to display in the chart. To come back out again, I can press zoom out. It's also possible to drill down on chart elements. If I click on this particular period, you can see I've created a drill through that shows the customers for that period. I come back and click on a different period, you can see the period is displayed up the top here. For this exercise, let's create a simple pie chart that lists the top n customers by sales. You can see here we have a top and when we submit the report, we'll display the top five customers. The first step is to open Publisher and click on New. Let's give this report a code and the title will be Customers by Sale. Next click on Edit Query and set the report mode to Summary Report. On the product list choose the product that you're reporting over. In my case I'm using SAP Business One and now I'll choose the table in which I wish to graph the data over, which is Sales. For this example I'll need to set the period range. So I'll come into the period and I'll set some offsets. I'm using sample data here, so I need to use a particular year, but you can see I've set the offsets. Next, I'll pull out the customer code, customer name, and then I'll get the sales under this particular folder. Depending on your system, it will be different, so I'm getting the line total. Let's preview the data. You can see that the data are showing the customers and the line total. I'd like to sort this line total so that the larger items are at the top. Come back to line total and I'll go to the sorting options and reverse that sorting order. And let's preview the data again. You can see the larger items are now at the top. This is important because later on the user will choose the top five, top ten items and we only want the larger sales to be at the top. Now for the top filter, right click on the filter area and select top n rows from the menu. Let's default it to the top five customers and I'll change the description to say top. Preview the data again. You can see now we only have the top five customers. Press OK and apply and go to the links tab and copy the link to the report. Come into the browser and paste the link in and you can see we have our filters up the top. We want to organize these so they look a little bit better later on and we submit the report and you can see by default it's displaying a table. Let's go in and change the filters that are displayed and also the report default. Come back to Publisher and come into the Reporting tab. You can see the default type is set to Table. Change this to Chart. Next, let's go into the Query and select on the Company and we'd like that to be a pick list and we'll hide some of these filters so the user can't change them and press apply. Let's refresh the report and see what happens this time. You can see that the companies are now a pick list and if we submit it's going to a column chart. We'd like to change this to a pie chart so we'll come back to publisher Go to the Charts tab and change the chart type to be Pi. You can see that there are over 20 different chart types to choose from. Just need to be careful that our data marries up 
with that particular chart type. Press apply and you'll see now we have a pie chart. I'd like to change the colors that are used in the chart and also remove the code off the front of the customer name. If we come back to the chart tab you can see that we, there is an option to customize the colors. Let's click on that and have a look at the chart colors. This can be changed to anything that you prefer. To remove the legend from the pie chart I would click on show legend and to remove the grid lines that appear around the chart I could remove these to show grid lines. Let's have a look at the pie chart now. Now we've removed those legend lines around the pie chart. Let's move on to a more advanced example that shows bars and lines mixed together in a single chart. I'm going to select a report that I prepared earlier. And if we have a look at the query, you can see that we're going to the sales AR table again. And I've set a period range. But this time I've put periods into the outputs. And I've got the current sales. Then I've created a subquery that gets that gets for the same company and the period minus one year for the previous year it gets the line total for the same period. If we preview the data for this data set you can see here are our periods and we have the value for the current year and the accumulated value and the value for last year and the accumulated value. To calculate the accumulated value I'm using an expression that adds the current value to itself. By default, this data was set up to be a column chart. To get just this column and this column to be a line, what is required is set the name of that particular item to end in underscore line or underscore area or underscore column. In this way, you can specify how the output is to be displayed. So I'm going to set that back to line. So everything will use the default chart type except for these two items. You can see the underscore line and underscore line. If I wanted to exclude a particular item from the chart, for example, I didn't want to show these two items, I could come in, rename them, and set it to underscore none. And in that way, I could remove it from the chart. To enable drill throughs on the chart, right click on the filters, select drill through and start creating a drill through. Here's one I prepared earlier and you can see that I've set the query to be the same as the parent company and I've bound the period to be the same period as the period defined in the parent and I've selected the period from the outputs. I also had to adjust the last year calculation so that it would refer to this particular filter up here. The end result is that if I preview this data, you can see that a menu item here appears and when I'm in the chart, the same menu item appears. It's possible to drill through on any chart element and also create drill through links that take the criteria of the chart element and put them on a URL and pass them to another application. You may notice that when creating drill throughs of charts that the drill through will go to another chart. In most cases you probably want to go to a table so in that case just set the in web channel display as option to a table and that way you can start off with a chart and move to a table. Also it's handy to set the report title with the filter criteria of the parent that you came from. So in this case I've set customers for period and then for the selected element of the chart I've chosen the filter criteria or the output criteria of the row selected. In this case it was the period. Let's now have a look at creating charts in tiles in a dashboard. Here is a dashboard that I created earlier and you can see in the options there's a link to the chart. I chose the chart by selecting it from the lookup window and came into the, the group and selected the report and I have an option to, to display the chart with or without prompts. 
I chose without and then came into the charts and you can see here are the different chart types. I'd like to explain some of these options that are off on the side here. It's possible to tweak a chart without going into the publisher and changing these options here. It's possible to change some of those options by using these URL parameters. If you go to the main page there's a help section and if you go to charts you can see some of the options for turning off legends, setting the chart margins for example or even changing the chart types. Let's have a look at some of those options. You can see here that we have a pie chart and then we have a different type of pie chart. This one is using Pi 2, which are flash charts. If I change this to be, for example, column, we'll see the same data, but now displayed in column format. This will conclude a brief overview of charting data in the web channel.